welcome in this session i am going to discuss detection limit dl and quantification limit ql in this session we will learn what is detection limit what is quantification limit how dl is established how ql is established what is significance of dl what is significance of ql what is the difference between dl and ql what is the acceptance criteria for dl what is the acceptance criteria for ql how dl and ql are verified detection limit dl is the parameter of limit test it tells about the limitation of the method and sensitivity of the instrument it is the lowest concentration of analyte in a sample that can be detected but not necessarily quantitative as an exact value several approaches are available to establish dl following approaches are used in the industry based on visual evaluation based on signal to noise ratio based on standard deviation of the response and the slope now question is among above approaches which one is the best approach i am going to discuss in next slide based on visual evaluation this approach can only be applied to analytical procedures which exhibit baseline noise this approach is rarely used in the industry and it is used for non instrumental method based on signal to noise ratio this approach is widely used in the industry to establish dl concentration determination of the signal to noise ratio is performed by comparing measured signals from samples with known low concentration injected in three duplicates of analyte with baseline region or with blank samples injection and establishing the minimum concentration at which the analyte can reliably be detected a signal to noise ratio between 3 is to 1 to 2 is to 1 is generally acceptable for all three replicates different solutions of analyte are prepared at low concentrations are injected to generate the chromatogram and the concentration at which signal to noise ratio 3 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 is obtained is considered as dl concentration now question is how dl is calculated how s by n ratio is calculated i am going to discuss the same dl is calculated by measuring the height of the peak capital h and the height of the noise is small h using this equation s by n is equal to 2 into height of the peak divided by height of the noise in this chromatogram this is the height of the peak capital h and this is the height of the noise is small h and s by n is calculated by 2 into height of this peak divided by height of noise dl calculation based on a standard deviation of the response and the slope dl is equal to 3.3 multiplied a standard deviation that is sigma of low concentration divided by slope s of the calibration line that is dl is equal to 3.3 into sigma divided by s from this equation it is clear that to calculate the dl value of sigma is required value of slope is required now question is how sigma will be calculated how s will be calculated i am going to explain the same using case study blank that is a diluent is injected and chromatogram is generated different solution of analyte at low concentrations are prepared and chromatogram is generated at each low concentration on from this data linearity is plotted 
with the help of Excel and HTYX that is a standard error or a standard deviation sigma is calculated slope is calculated now we have the sigma we have the slope and hence taking this equation dl can easily be calculated in this case dl is 0.28 mcg per ml dl must be demonstrated by injecting multiple injections at least three dl consistently meet the s by n or 2h by h requirement of 3h to 1 or 2h to 1 quantitation limit or ql ql is the lowest concentration of analyte in sample that can be determined with acceptable precision and accuracy under the stated experimental conditions ql is a parameter for low level of compounds in sample such as related substances test and content test different approaches are available to establish the ql following approaches are used in the industry based on visual evaluation based on signal to noise ratio based on standard deviation of the response and the slope now question is which one is the best approach to calculate ql i am going to discuss in next slide based on visual evaluation Visual evaluation may be used for non-instrumental methods. This approach is rarely used in the industry. Based on signal to noise ratio, this approach is widely used in the industry due to its simplicity. This approach can only be applied to analytical procedures that exhibit baseline noise. Determination of the signal to noise ratio is performed by comparing major signal from samples with known low concentration of analyte with those of blank samples and by establishing the minimum concentration at which the analyte can be reliably quantified. A typical signal to noise ratio should be 10 is to 1. Different analyte solutions are prepared at low concentration and chromatogram is generated at each concentration the concentration at which signal to noise 10 is to 1 is obtained with acceptable accuracy and precision is considered as QL concentration now question is how S by N or QL will be calculated, I am going to discuss in the next slide. QL is calculated by measuring the height of the peak, capital H, and the height of the noise, small h, using this equation. S by N, 2 into height of the peak, divided by height of the noise, same as we discussed in the case of detection limit. S by N should be more than or equal to 10 is to 1. This is the height of the signal, capital H. This is the height of the noise, that is a small h. And using this formula, S by N and QL is calculated. QL calculation based on standard deviation of the response and the slope. QL is equal to 10 into a standard deviation sigma or STEYX that is a standard error of low concentration divided by slope S of the calibration curve. That is QL is equal to 10 into sigma divided by S. This formula is similar to DL in case of dl in place of 10 there was 3.3 now question is how sigma and s will be calculated i am going to discuss taking case study blank is injected and chromatogram is generated analyte solution at different low concentrations are prepared and each concentration is injected to generate the 
chromato gram and planetic curve is plotted with the help of excel a standard error or a standard deviation is calculated slope is calculated now we have sigma we have slope and hence using this formula QL is calculated in this case QL is 0.86 microgram per ml QL must be demonstrated by injecting multiple samples at least 6 injection QL consistently meets S by N or 2H by H of 10 is to 1 and have acceptable precision and accuracy. Points to be remembered for QL must be validated for precision and accuracy using 6 injections. If an interfering peak appeared in the blank chromatogram at the retention time of the analyzed peak, QL concentration will be estimated according to height ratio between interfering peak and analyzed peak. A height ratio calculated from three replicates injection of blank and the three replicate injection of the QL at QL concentration of about 5 is to 1 is acceptable. QL is integral part of system suitability and method for related substances and content test. QL should be at least half of the specification limit. Points to be remembered for DL. DL tells about sensitivity of the instrument and method. DL is the integral part of the method and not system suitability for related substances test. DL is the integral part of the method as well as system suitability for content test at low level, for example, genotoxic impurity test and nitrosoamine impurity test. Now, questions are should impurities less than DL be included in total impurities or not? Should impurities more than DL and less than QL be included in total impurities or not? Please think over it and write your answer in comment section. That is all about this session. Please write at least one of your learnings of this session in the comment section. If you are new on this channel, then subscribe the channel and like the video. Let us see you in next session. Thank you for watching this lecture.